This next video addresses the process of panning audio output through the use of the fade cue. The first thing we're going to look at is the audio cue that we want to pan the output for. If we click on the audio cue and look in the device and levels tab, we can see that the, uh, the original audio file is assigned as the cue input one here, and it is going into channels one and two of the cross points matrix, which assigns it to Q output one and Q output two. Now, basically what you need to know about this is that Q output one is going to be the left channel of the audio and Q output two is going to default to be the right channel of the audio. So as this is set up, if I were to press play, we would hear the audio coming out of both the left and the right channel of it. What we want to do is go ahead and take the right channel of the audio all the way out by pulling it down to negative infinity. And the next step is going to be inserting a fade cue into the workspace and targeting that fade cue with the audio cue above. The next step of this process is setting the levels of the fade cue so that we have the audio coming out of the right channel only. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and select these, pulling my audio in the left channel all the way down to negative infinity and keeping the audio in the right channel set to zero. So as we can see in the first cue, it is exactly the opposite of that. So if I were to trigger this audio cue, the fade process would take us from the left channel of audio output to the right channel. Let's hear it. And this is me triggering the fade cue. And that's the process of setting up a pan by using the fade cue. 